Okay. There are three. Um, it says carbon disulfide is prepared by heating sulfur and ca charcoal. The chemical equation is Kc. Uh, Kc is 9.40 at 900 Kelvin. How many grams of CS2 grams can be pr prepared by heating 9.26 moles of S2 gas with excess carbon in a 6.05 liters vessel held at 900 Kelvin until equilibrium is attained? Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to first uh, look at the chemical formula, right? So we are heating, um, we're heating S2 um, with excess carbon here. So what we can do here is we can say that S2, or we write our chemical equation here. So S2, oh, so I went on. I keep accidentally clicking this here. So S2 is in, is in gas form here, or oh, sorry. This is yeah, S2 in gas form. Plus we have sol solid carbon here, uh, also in gas form. Um, it's going to uh, create here, or maybe be in equilibrium here with, and this is with CS2 gas. So carbon disulfide, disulfide here. And what we're going to say is the KC here is going to represent uh, the concentrations of, uh, in this case, it's in gas form. So basically, you can talk about them in partial pressures, or it can talk, uh, or it can be in a um, in concentration. But for now, I'm going to stick to concentration because we're not given a pressure here. So this is going to be concentration of our products, which is CS2, carbon disulfide, um, divided by our uh, our reactants here, which is S2 and C and solid carbon. However, solid carbon doesn't play a part in our um, reaction here because it's a solid guy. So we care about um, the S2 only here. And these are both in gas forms. So we know that the KC here is going to equal, um, it's going to equal 9.40 at 900 Kelvin, which is good. And what we can solve for is we can first solve for the moles of, we solve for the molarity here of our um, of our S2, right? Because we have moles here, and what we have is our uh, volume as well. So let's solve for that. So we can solve for the um, our concentration of S2. So we can solve for our concentration of CS2 here. So let me do this in blue here. So we have is we have the concentration of S2 is going to equal the moles of S2 divided by the volume by the volume. We have the moles here is going to equal, let me do this actually on the side here, and the moles is going to equal, we have 9.26 moles of S2 divided by our volume, which is 6.05 liters here. And this is going to equal 9.26 moles divided by 6.05 is going to equal 1.53 molarity, which is what they got here, which is great. It's 1.53 molarity of S2. So therefore, what we can do is we can actually isolate for our CS2 here. So let me go back, change this. So this is going to equal. Um, so we know that our KC here is 9.40. So we can say that this is 9.40, which will also equal the concentration of CS2, which we don't know here. And uh, what we can do is... Um, we're gonna have to perform an ice table actually. So let me um, let me redraw this actually. So this here is our this so this is our equilibrium expression. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw an ice table real quick. And I have S two here, which is our one point five three. So we have S two, and then we have C, which we don't really care about. We have CS2 here. So I'm, div uh, I'm not going to include C in our ice table because it doesn't play a part in our equilibrium expression. So we have, we're going to start off with 1.53 molarity here, starting off with zero here, minus X, I'm going to add X here. So I have 1.53 minus X and X here, like so. So therefore our KC, const our, our KC um, uh, equilibrium constant here is going to, we have 9.40, which is our KC. So I'm going to write 9.40 is going to equal the concentration of CS2, which is in, in equilibrium, which is X, 
divided by our concentration S2, which is 1.53 minus x. And all we're going to have to do is isolate for x here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 1.53 minus x. So I'm going to get 14.382 uh, on the side minus 9.40x equals x here. So I get 14.382 equals, um, this would be 10.940x. So therefore, x is going to equal 14.382 um, divided by 10.4940, which is 1.31. I'm just checking my math here. Um, they got 14.38, which is good, minus 9.4 equals x. So this is, oh, I added a nine here, my bad. Uh, this is this is a nine, this is 10.40, sorry. I think I added a nine there by accident. So my numbers got thrown off. So this is a 10.40x, and I can just simply divide both of these guys here to get my answer, which is going to be 1.38. And this is the molarity of our CS2, right, of our uh, carbon disulfide. And what we're doing is now we're trying to find the, we want to find the grams. So if we're given our molarity, what we can do is we can find our moles now, right? So I know that C, our concentration, of CS2 is going to equal the moles of CS2 divided by the volume. So I know that the moles of CS2 is going to equal simply the concentration of CS2 times our volume here. So I know that this is 1.38 molarity times our volume, which is uh, nine or 6.05 liters, which is going to give me our molarity, or sorry, our moles, which is 1.38 times 6.05 8.39, 349, sorry, moles. And then what we can do is we can find mass by simply saying, we know that moles equals mass over molar mass. So therefore mass equals moles times our molar mass. So we have 8.349 moles times the molar mass of uh, carbon disulfide, which is, and I can calculate that. So carbon here is 12.011 plus two sulfur, so two times 32.06. And this is going to equal my, uh, my grams of carbon disulfide that's being created here, which is 8.349 times 12.011 plus two times 36.06, which is 64.12. So I'm gonna get a value of 635.6 grams. So this here is the correct answer. Uh, so I would get 60, 635.62, uh, this is in grams. So this here is my solution. So this solution is very, very close to 6.8, which probably due to our molar mass um, calculations here. So this solution here is correct. I'm just gonna mouse this as well. This is number three. Thank <laughs> you.